Around five months ago, Trikes made his biggest video ever where he drag clicked 34 CPS on a keyboard, specifically the Apex Pro that has adjustable actuation. So I thought, since I have a pretty popular drag clicking mouse mod series, why not mod a keyboard to drag click? So I decided to challenge myself to create a keyboard that could drag click and beat Trikes' 34 CPS record in his most viewed video by far. Stick to the end to see the insane CPS result. To give you some context on the mods that I usually do on this channel, let me give you some examples. I modified a G502 Hero to drag click 80 CPS, replacing all of its internals, tearing it completely apart, and putting it all back together. Similarly, I modded a Razor Death out of V2 to drag click and garbage using a bloody A70. So modding a keyboard shouldn't be that hard after all. Well, I completely underestimated the difficulty of this project. I had to fail and restart this project countless times in order to get the keyboard to work right. Before I bring you along this insane modding journey, I want to emphasize that this video is in no way hate towards trikes or Bob. It's just a fun project I decided to challenge myself on. Fun fact, about a month ago, I made a bet with an IRL friend that I would reach 30,000 subscribers before the school year starts. School is only one week out and dropping a sub would be highly appreciated. Now enjoy the rest of the video. To do a drag clicking keyboard mod, what do you need? A keyboard of course. So the first thing I did was go through my parents old electronic stash that they built up over the years. Sadly, I couldn't really use many of them because most of them had old style PS2 ports instead of USB. Although a lot of them were good prospects for the mod, I really couldn't use them. So I ended up just deciding to choose this Russian slash American USB keyboard to do the mod on. For these types of mods, you never really know how many attempts it's going to take to get the mod actually working. So let me run down my first mod attempt for you. Basically, my idea was to take about the bloody A70, remove one of its switches, and then extend that switch using some wires. Since the bloody A70 drag clicks by default, it would be smart for me to place that micro switch beneath the keycap of the keyboard. So whenever the space bar is pressed down, the top of the keycap will hit the micro switch, resulting in a click. Therefore, if I drag click on the space bar, all the clicks will be registered because the bloody A70 will be doing the work. Following through with the plan, I took apart my Hydro Dip bloody A70, unsoldered the switch, and then soldered some extension wires to the switch itself. I then used a cool method to make an exact template for the switch. Then I super glued that template right on the keyboard itself and drilled holes in the proper places. That way, all the wires of the switch can pass through to the back of the board. After setting the switch in, everything looked great. I even put springs on both sides of the keycap to help better the tensioning and make it easier to drag click. Assuming that there was nothing wrong with the switch, I fed the wires through the back of the keyboard between the membrane switches and out the back hot gluing them in place. Me thinking that this mod was already done, I was starting to celebrate. But when I actually tested it out, unfortunately, the switch was actually dead. It must have died when I was unsoldering it because these optical switches can't really take that much heat to begin with. So there goes an entire day's worth of work down the drain. Okay, but in all seriousness, I did not expect that keyboard to snap like that. That was insane. For my second attempt, I chose not to do the same thing again. Instead, I chose a more ambitious approach. After playing around with the bloody A70 circuit board, I noticed that if you hotwire two of the pins on the board, that it actually registers a click. So I thought, what if I make my own switch? To do this, I got some spare copper pipes and then I flattened them down on an anvil. To make them as conductive as possible, I sanded them down until they were really shiny. Then I cut down the smooth copper into small little squares and soldered each square to each wire. To make the switch, I glued one wire to the top of the keycap and one other wire to the base of the keyboard. But believe me, no matter how many times I tried adjusting the position of these contacts, I simply could not get them to drag click reliably or at all. Unlike traditional switches, these contacts have no form of tensioning or pushback that a normal switch does. Therefore, it's pretty much impossible to make these drag click at all because there isn't a way for these contacts to reset once they've been clicked. Sadly, that is another day of modding gone. Luckily, in my third and final attempt, I was able to come up with an idea that actually worked. But before we move on to that, let me play you a quick sarcastical skit I made showing you how I kind of came up with this mod in the first place. Um, I definitely did not spend too much time making this. 
Welcome to Helix's brainstorming session. Do any of you have any 1 million view ideas? Ooh, here, here, here. Go for it, buddy. Okay, get this. What if you fill a bag full of mice and shake it? Ooh, I like the idea a lot. You can get tons of CPS doing that probably, and it's super creative. Good job. Let's see if anyone did that. What? Someone already did that. That's actually kind of crazy. Unfortunately, we can't do this idea. Trikes already did it. Okay, moving on. You, go for it. Here's my idea. What if you drag click three ah! mice at the same time? Not bad, not bad. Let's see once again if anyone else did that. Oh, come on, Trikes did it also? This dude's on top. Okay, one final idea. You over there in the corner. What's your idea? Okay, what if you somehow drag click on a keyboard? Maybe that'll work. Somehow you could figure it out, I guess. I like the idea the most. I don't think anyone's done that. Final try. Hopefully this dude tries to do it. What? He actually did it. Wait a second. 4.5 million views. We gotta look into this further. So he got 34 CPS drag clicking on a keyboard. Guys, I might just have the best idea. Now that that fever dream of a video is over, let me know in the comments below if you think I should do more green screen type skits like that in the future. So this is saying that everything happens for a reason, and I truly believe it. Because my failure making my own switch actually opened up a gateway for a new success. Rather than trying to invent the wheel and create a whole new switch, why not just use a standard Omron switch instead? After all, the same hot wiring method can be applied to a traditional Omron switch by soldering each wire to each end of the switch. Also, that other keyboard I used, which is the one that you saw me destroy and kick, was a hot piece of garbage. So I decided to find a different keyboard that could probably suit my needs better. And guess what? I did find a better keyboard. I found a keyboard with lower profile keycaps that were more flat than the other keyboard. In addition, this keyboard had a much more manageable membrane, as opposed to those stupid little membrane plugs that the other keyboard had that would get absolutely everywhere. Similar to my first attempt, I drilled three holes into the keyboard, put the switch through, and actually soldered the wires while the switch was inside the keyboard. Then I cut some holes and channels so that the wires can go through the keyboard without obstructing anything. Rather than dealing with six wires, I only have to deal with two now. Connecting the wires to the A70 circuit, I noticed some glaring problems. First of all, the drag clicks were super inconsistent. I think this is due to some bug with the circuit board. I noticed for some reason that is completely unknown to me that if you flip the bloody A70 circuit board upside down, it would not register any clicks. It would register like two CPS. But if you put it face down on the table, it registers all the clicks. So I decided to pitch the A70 circuit board because I did not want to risk this not being able to drag. Instead, I used a classic mouse that is a huge part of this channel, and that is the $1.80 CPS drag clicking mouse known as the Dell MUR A7. This cheap little mouse is a beast at drag clicking, and I have 11 of them. And all I had to do was solder both of the wires to one of the switches on the circuit board. Testing it out, it worked amazing! The keyboard could actually register all the drag clicks. Now being confident in my invention, I decided to package everything inside of the mouse case. So the mouse would be like a drag clicking module for the keyboard. After struggling for nearly three days on this project, it was such a relief to have the keyboard actually working. Now that I created the world's first drag clicking keyboard mod, I feel like it wouldn't do its justice having it look like a $15 keyboard. Let's add some spice to it and give it a sick paint job. I went for a white and red paint job with some starter sprinkled over the keycaps. Painting the entire numpad white, I stenciled and spray painted the bloody logo onto it. Let's not forget about the mouse that makes this all possible. And boom, here is the sick paint job for my new drag clicking keyboard. Now, let me reveal what you've all been waiting for, the CPS results for this keyboard. And as I promised, I beat Trix's CPS record in his original drag clicking keyboard video.
it was actually extremely easy to drag click on this keyboard without tape. Keep in mind that what I'm doing with this keyboard is actually extremely impressive. Trix has a $160 Apex Pro. What I did was I transformed a around $15 keyboard plus a $1 mouse into a full drag clicking unit. I was genuinely impressed that I was able to beat the 32 CPS record. In fact, my keyboard was able to get over 32 CPS pretty frequently. Although I'm 100% positive that Trikes could beat my record on his keyboard pretty easily, I think it's really cool that I beat his original record on his original video. If this video gets 25k likes, I will develop and create an even better Dracon King keyboard that will be guaranteed to get double the CPS of this keyboard, if not more. But if we can get that much support, it will give me the precious time I need to do a mod of that magnitude. Hey, uh, maybe we can even have Bob try it out someday. As a pre-30k announcement, I can't thank you all enough for the immense support that I've received over these past couple of months. I love sharing my inventions, projects, and ideas to the world. And I hope all of you have a wonderful day. I'll catch you in the next mod video.